Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use R to actually perform a so-called uh, two-sample sign test as a postdoc test for a Friedman test. Um, uh, unfortunately this is not possible with base itself unless you program it so I'll be using a package called R companion and to avoid any disappointments um, I will not be explaining uh, what a Friedman test is or uh, why you should be using a sign test or not as a postdoc analysis I'll only show how you can actually do it. Um, the packages I have installed by default are these uh, but base is actually the one you need and will will be needing that R companion package later. Uh, of course I'll be using an example which I call my data so console enter to load this one in. I'll show you what the in is in that data. It only contains the seven different variables that I'm interested in, all ordinal on a scale of 1 to 5. They will all link to um, the teacher. Going back to the free the, the console, uh, the first thing I need is an additional ID variable. So my data ID is simply, I'll show you again, mm, added here. And this means that everyone is now unique and has a unique identifier and then I actually need to create this into a long format which can be done by using the reshape2 package which if you don't have it you can install by using this line and then if you have it you need to load it in using this line so control enter on that and then actually create that long format and that's being done with the command melt of my data and the ID uh, variable or variables is simply that no, just created one that ID. Control enter and I'll show you what the long version then looks like. Now I have an ID variable each of them will occur multiple times. Uh, one for each of the different variables that I had in the original and the score associated to that one. Now that I have it in the long format I can load actually the R companion package again if you don't have this already you need to install it first you can use this line for that and then actually use the library and then R companion to actually load it in once all that is done we're actually good to go then you can uh, use the command pairwise sign matrix note the capital S and the capital M the value by uh, each variable my data is my data long and I'm not using any corrections. Uh, if you like you can adjust this to for example Bonferroni or a few others. And if I hit Ctrl Enter I should nicely get my results. It actually shows it twice um, and these are the unadjusted ones which should be the same as uh, up here because I didn't specify any adjustments. And as you can see uh, the teacher stimulated to ask versus for example teachers motivation there was a uh, the 0.2863 so that's not significant by most standards this one was that was uh, availability of the teacher versus motivation there seems to have been a significant difference there between the results of both and that's how you can perform a sign pairwise postdoc analysis for a Friedman test using R.